What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be drawing Shinichi Izumi from Parasite. This is a Patreon request from Belgian Candyman. So, um, it's pretty good anime. I remember watching it years ago. There's some good fights in it, some good action. Um, never made a season two, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, let's go. So I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast, right? So we got the parasite on his hand, you know, sort of the eye and the claw and stuff over here and then Shinichi's head over this side, right? So we'll start with Shinichi and we'll start with his eyes, right? So center point to my page is about here. His eyes are about along that center line and we're just right over here, real close to the edge, right? But leave enough room for like the side of his face. So we will go diagonal up like so first and then we'll bring it down slanted down and then down like so you could thicken up the top eyelid a little bit so you just like give it a little extra ink or pencil like so And then his bottom eyelid is basically like we've got like a line here, kind of a curved line. And then there's eyelashes, it seems like. So just some eyelashes like sticking off and going around there. Not a full sort of bottom eyelid line. Does he have top eyelid? Yeah, there's some eyelashes on top as well. Just there. They're small though. And then his iris and pupil so they're not like perfect circles they're kind of oval-ish so to go around like here and then we'll bring it back up so it's kind of like got the top cut off it and then we'll just give a longish sort of pupil on the inside and just color that in dark so it's not like perfect circle or anything they're kind of semi longer than we'd expect then he has some like bottom eyelid lines top eyelid line like just following that sort of shape here right he's kind of got kind of sad eyes kind of and then the eyebrows just above that so we sort of tick up along So, right, like that at first. So it curves two ways. So it curves up and then down. And then we have the front of the eyebrow, just there. And then it kind of spikes down and up. And we follow that sort of shape, same shape again. And then just bring it down to a point down there. So we'll go over now and do the other eye, right? So the other eye is a little bit lower than this one because we've got a little bit of a head tilt. So his, his head isn't totally straight. It's just slightly tilted that way, right? So that means the line for your eye is sort of horizontal, right? So we're kind of down from this eye a little bit. We're not like perfectly straight, but we are still sort of eye width apart, right? So your eye width will fit in between and that's roughly where the next eye will start. So the, the width of his eye fits in between here okay and then you start your next one and just bring it across all right like so slanted down again and then down here so yes we're kind of on the horizontal diagonal sort of this way okay and like so And then bottom eyelid, just here. And we give him some like lines like that, some eyelash lines. And then his iris, again, sort of a long circle, kind of an oval, not a perfect round circle. Just there, and then pupil. Like so, and then, so same sort of thing again on this side so we got the eyebrow 
So we'll go eyebrows lower on this side. So we'll go eyebrow first. And they don't have to be the exact same on both sides. They're not the exact same in the picture I'm drawing from, so. And then, and down to there. So characters aren't always 100% symmetrical, you know, they're kind of different on both sides sometimes. It makes them look more realistic. If you look in the mirror, you have, you'll have like one eye smaller than the other, you know, all that kind of stuff, so. Things don't need to be 100% symmetrical. So there's nose. So we go diagonal. And then we go sort of straight down, right? So we're on the sort of left of center. And then there's a light line on this side, something there, and then some frown lines. Like so, okay? And just below that, we got nostrils, up and down, up and down. There's mouth, simple sort of downturn, serious mouth, like so. And then his bottom lip, just here. And then his chin. So we got like a relatively square chin, just there. Right, so in terms of proportion, right, we're roughly in same proportion, right? So normal standard human proportion. So the eyes to the nose, about the same as nose to the chin, right? So here to here, just below the chin, actually. So like this part of his face, a little bit bigger than this. So we'll go, if you go into the tip of his nose, not the nostrils. So if we go eyes to like the tip of his nose, is about the same as just the tip of his nose to his chin, okay? Roughly. It's close. So then your other proportion, sorry, is your nose to your bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to chin. So bottom lip halfway between nose and chin, that one's still the same. But this one's bigger, I think. Here to here, yeah slightly bigger, so we'll just bring it to just above the nostrils. Anyway, moving on. So diagonal up here for the jaw. Diagonal that way. Okay, and they're lining up sort of on the horizontal, just like our eyes. Diagonal, sort of not perfectly straight, just a little bit down on this side, because the head tilt. And then we'll bring the face up the other side. Like so. And then we got his fringe and his hair and stuff, so we'll go inside. Right, all in here. So just these sort of zigzag lines in this way. And then he's got some sideburns here. And his ears will come out from here, just in line with his eyes. And then it goes down to about nose level. Then you can add some bones and ligaments and things on the inside. So this sort of letter J sort of shape is the easiest way. But you can add more detail if you want to the inside. All right, so then it's hair coming up the back. Like this starts coming up here. So just sort of spikes going generally down. Okay, so then we'll do his fringe, coming across the front, right? So, let's see what way. Mm. Right, so this kind of comes across, so we'll go across here, right? And we've got like a series of hair spikes, like fringe spikes coming down here, so we'll go 
there. Another one. Coming down there, and this might like go into its fringe, like down here somewhere. Another one here. So there's like f f eight or something in all going down around. then similarly Continuation of its fr fringe as well, underneath, you know. And there's like one more here. And then the fringe kind of comes down across the middle, just there. Okay, so unusual sort of hair for, that we're used to drawing. Never drawn a fringe like that in a character before. Anyway, um, right, the rest of his hair goes like all the way up. And it's kind of flat on top, so it's, it goes all the way up to there. So we're like, his fringe is like, I'd say eyebrow to fringe, or eyebrow to fringe to eyes is about the that up again, at least, right? So like, you know, top of his head, right up here. You know, and this is a relatively flat sort of thing, shape up here. Nice. Then you just bring it down the side. And then bump, spike, and then spikes coming down here. And then we have spikes coming off this way. Like that. And then like some texture lines and stuff going this way. And then there seems to be like some texture going this way too. Like another layer of hair or something. Right, um, then his neck. So his neck kind of real long on this side, right? Comes down like so, right down off my page. Then the other side of his neck is shorter here because it goes into the collar of his shirt, right? So collar of his shirt, like comes down here. And then it like comes out and across down this way. So, and then out and down there, and down this way. And then his suit jacket down here. And then there's like Adam's apple, like a neck muscle line there and there. And he's got more hair spikes coming down from behind his ear. So, and then his shirt on the other side. So it comes out diagonal, down like so. And then we go in, sticks out down that way. Then the inside, there's like a button here and a hole for the button there. And we can just see his tie. 
and some of his shoulder just going off that way until he comes down there right so the parasite right over here so so it's a hand but it's not a hand right <laughs> it's kind of complicated so um you could just finish Sinichi with some shoulders if you didn't want to do the hand of course you could just do a shoulder here and you're done but we will add the parasite because it's a pretty main character so so hands are tricky and hands with a parasite growing out of them are extra tricky so um so i i think the easiest way to start a hand is this w sort of shape here right so at the bottom of hands right so the hand is real big it's real it's like the whole size of his face right the whole thing right so so that's the bottom of the hand right and then the wrist sort of comes out here and it goes into Sinichi's shirt jacket sort of area right so that that's here of course a few more room you can fit more of that hand but I don't so or if you find yourself with loads of room you can just cut your paper along the bottom that's what I do usually cut it to fit your drawing these are just some lines for Sinichi's sleeve and then his shoulder right will go up into his collar up here right so This way. And then there's like some lines here, some fold lines. Like that. Okay, so the parasite has like a big blade here, right? So it starts coming out of his finger, right? So like here. Coming out of the thumb, sorry. So it like curves around this and it's got like some metal bones goes over Shinichi's shoulder spiking up this way of course if you go over any lines you can just erase them and then this comes out there and then we'll bring it all the way so how so it's like it goes up to like maybe like close to the top of his head right and then you just bring this back down. Right, and about halfway, you step in and then join this back to there. Okay, so this is like the metal part. So there's like a flesh part and then a metal part. So this is kind of wavy. Right, and then this is kind of it's got lines on it for like muscle fibers and flesh and stuff. Right, so now we'll step in and we'll do the index finger and the rest of the fingers and the eyeball and stuff, okay? So, thumb starts to go in here and then we we'll go up the side of the hand and travel up, curve up to here, okay? So we got like a couple of bumps and turns and stuff here. Then the other side, we got like some stretch lines and stuff like so. It goes around, right? At the top of this, then we have the eyeball. So, so you just got to draw an eyeball on top. So, it's so just a big circle, like so, right? And you kind of connect it up with skin to the finger.
that. And then we put the iris and the pupil inside, so just like another circle. And the pupil. And it can have um, sort of iris lines, so like texture lines, like so. Going around kind of like clockwork that way. Okay, right, so the rest of the fingers then. So it's kind of this sort of pose, it's like like that. So take your time, fingers can be tricky. So we just go up, like so, across, change direction down. And then we go around for the top of the finger, back in to there. And then we have like a bump here, and then we bring it down, like so. And then go up and underneath, down to there. Around. Another sort of bump here, down to this finger and around the top. Okay, so the hand is quite big now. So see, it's like the size of his face. And then this comes up to here. Like so, <clears throat> and then the little finger is in behind, so it's in behind this one. It goes around here, into there, into there, into here. Like so. Right, and then there's like some fingernails, so like one fingernail on top here, another one here, there. And then we got some skin lines on the inside, so skin line there, there. And there is like a mouth on the inside as well, so how the parasite talks, right? So it's lips basically, so you just have like a stretched out letter M for the top lip. Then the inside, same sort of thing. And then the bottom lip, there. And like, there seems to be like some hatching, like some lines on the bottom lip here, some here, like that. And I think that's everything. Hope it was helpful. Belgian candy man. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.